Hello. Hello. We are going. We are going to now review the Baby Trend Navigator Double Jogger Stroller. Okay, here is this. This thing is a. Okay, let me talk to you about it for a second. This thing is a beast. All right, I am pretty strong. I can lift it. I can get it in and out of my car. So. But it is a beast of a stroller. This thing is huge. Um, but there's a lot of good things I like about it. First off, let me tell you, I drive a Ford Focus. So if you have a Focus, it'll fit in your trunk, barely. But you want to fold it and just stick it in front ways and just and get it in there. And it'll go, barely. And my trunk has to be empty. Nothing else can be in it. Not even like a roll of paper towels. Um, but it fits. OK. So we've nicknamed this beast the Bismarck because it's ginormous. Here it is, folded. Good thing is, is look, it's standing by itself. Okay, let's unfold this. All right, so we have a locking mechanism that we can use or not use. I'm not using it. Set it up. All right. You want to get it? I don't know if you saw that, but I kind of got the bar with my knee, flung it out there. You see, the kids obviously love it. She's already getting in it. The other one's crawling over to it. Great thing about this stroller, best thing, is it's very stable. You can see it has two wheels up front, two wheels in back. Okay. They're also, they're like bicycle tires. Yeah. All right. So this is going to ensure that you have a very smooth ride. Let's talk about this parent tray. So I know that's what I'm interested in when I'm looking at a stroller. Let's pull it over here. Okay, we have one, two cup holders. And we have this cool little spot down here. You can plug your phone in, listen to some tunes. These are speakers. Uh, the sound quality is pretty good. We're not talking like awesome, but you know it's it's good. I'm outside. I'm running. Well, I'm trying to run anyways. Um, I'm outside doing my thing, so I can definitely hear my phone. But it's not. I don't listen to it too loud because I want to still be discreet and not bother other people. But I can also stick you know any other things in here. It's about a two and a half inch deep pocket about six inches across, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Okay, so let's talk about, ooh, I found a juice. Okay, talk about the baskets underneath. We can see there are two baskets, they are separate baskets. Okay, there we go, nice view. So two baskets, they're both decent size. I have a full size ginormous diaper bag and I can fit that down there along with other goodies. We have a jogging strap with the Velcro loop so it Mommy, ties to I'm itself. Out. I can get out. We have reflectors on the wheel. I don't know if you can see that, but it's down there by her leg reflectors so you're visible at night. Let's talk awnings. We have these plastic locks for the awnings on the outside of each one, not the inside. We have a peekaboo with the Velcro, so it's not magnetic. You can roll it up and then there's this cool little, I don't know, I call it the bead thing. This loops through, so you can roll it up, have ventilation, keep an eye on the kids if the awning is up. I like that feature. Or you can keep it down. Okay, you can also, these awnings, you can put them that way if you're protecting the kids from the sun, the wind, or you can put it back. And it's, it's like, it bumps, so you'll hear it. So they're not smooth. But, you know, you're not going to, it's not going to be moving, like with a low quality stroller. Okay, so it's not going to be, like on a low quality stroller, how the wind's going to blow and your awning's going to move. This awning, where you put it, is where it stays. 
Okay. We have. Let go. Let go. Seat your clients. And they are done with just regular strap. Pull it, and it's up. Or you pull it, and it's down. And there's also a clip. So it's like a. Let's see what else are these clips on? Just a regular plastic clip, like on a backpack or something. Okay, we also have cool little pockets. You can put goodies in here and adjust it so it's closed. And we have independent rear wheel locks. You can easily operate this with your foot. You want to do this when you're putting the kids in and out because this is a really smooth ride stroller and it will roll away from you. So definitely always use the wheel lock. We have a five point harness on each seat. I wish that they were padded, but they're not. They're just straps. But other than that, it's pretty good. Okay, in and out. Okay, we have the child. Okay, for parent for the child trays, we have a little red trigger, and then both trays swivel up. Now, depending on how you put this together, you can have them swivel this way or this way. I prefer it to swivel in, so that's how we have it together. And put it down, you just press it down. So each kid has two cup holders and a tray. I like this because when we're walking, I just want the kids to sit. And a lot of times that means food and drink to entertain them. Or, you know, they can, if they want to, they can color on here too. Whatever, as long as they're happy, I can get my walk in and I'm happy. So there it is. There's the main things. I also like big footboard. Okay. Both kids can easily rest their feet. I was looking at other jogging strollers and it seemed like the footboard was in here. So their feet were going to hang off. And I have a tall daughter. She's three. So, I mean, I need... I want, them, I want the kids to be as comfortable as possible also. Each seat holds 50 pounds, so this stroller has a 100 pound weight capacity. This is going to be my jogging stroller for the next couple years, maybe longer. Because I mean, when they're you know five, six, and they don't want to go on long walk with mom, they can't stay home alone. But hey, we have this awesome, comfortable stroller that little kids can fit in and big kids can fit in and it's easy enough to push. This stroller has such a smooth ride because of these wheels. They're like bicycle wheels. So we're talking much easier pushing than a regular stroller um, and a very, very smooth ride for the kids. Effortless pushing even with a heavy weight limit. Okay, two fold. We have these one red trigger finger, two red trigger finger, one on each side. You pull, click, and it folds down. There it is. So pretty easy as far as the folding goes. This thing, though, let me show you. You want to pick it up with these. There are handles. It's, it's kind of heavy. It's pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. And then to unfold it, just lift. I'm going to grab, I'm going to press with the bottom of my knee. There you go. Kind of fling it out there. There it is. The Baby Trend Double Stroller Navigator. Good stuff. I would recommend this stroller to anyone. And actually, this stroller was... I was told not to get it because it's huge. And it is. It's giant. And I will show you. Let's turn this. This is the downfall of this stroller. Okay. Let's move the connect. That'll work. Okay. There's the door. Regular size door. I'm not even going to try and open it. Arr. All right. And this is not going to fit through the door. And, oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. No, I'm not. 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 I
Nope. Barely. There is, there is the, the latch on the side where it latches together so that it locks closed. If that wasn't on there, this thing would barely squeak through. <sighs> Unfortunately, the size is the issue. But I mean, if you're going with a side-by-side -side stroller, they're going to be big anyways. So I bought this stroller specifically. Daughter's got her bicycle up. I bought this stroller specifically for exercise. This is not my mall stroller. This is not my store stroller, restaurant stroller, none of that. This stroller is specifically for this stroller is specifically for going on walks. It is going to serve its purpose and serve it very, very well. Um, I have a double stroller for my everyday use that I keep in my car that I take into stores and stuff and that one is a front and back stroller they're not side by side so but for you know the longer walks and you know I mean both kids want a seat my other stroller the back seat's a bench for the bigger kid and I mean she when she falls asleep he can't sit on the bench because he's too small he's gonna fall right out um, but she fell asleep on the bench before and then I kept having to kind of wedge her because she would fall over as she was asleep. So, you know, but for 95% of the time, that stroller is amazing. This is for the other 5%. This is for when I'm going out and I'm going to go out and I'm going to put some miles on this thing and we're going to exercise and get healthy. So, I give this stroller on smoothness five stars. Amazing. You're not going to get a smoother stroller. It's very durable. Sturdy construction, good materials. I loved it. Uh oh. On size, it's a side by side jogging stroller. They're all huge. Um, but this probably is the one of the biggest ones on the market. But I love it. Definitely gonna keep it. So I would recommend it.